Hey, what's up guys? I'm returning to you with another Clash Royale video. So, today we're going to be playing um, the, Gr the Crown Jewel Challenge, which basically, um, it consists of um, a rule, which is, you choose two cards that you can see on the screen right now. So, I either choose the Fireball or the Zap, and whichever one I don't choose, he will get. So, I think in this scenario, I'm going to choose the Fireball, just in case I don't get any removal. Then I'm going to choose the Baby Dragon because it's going to be level. It's going to be a tournament standard, which is level four. I'm going to choose the Baby Pekka because I'm not very good at using the Knight, and I'm also going to go for the Lock because it's just playing out OP. So right now this is looking d decent. He could give well, she looks like it might be a she, it's Julian. Um, they have given me a minion horde, arrows, and a knight. So I'm going to start with the knight in the back. So this can play out either way. He could have she, maybe she, I don't know. Uh, they could have, like they got legendaries already. So I'm going to play a log to take out all their things in the back. So, I'm going to see how this goes. So, this is going to take it out, and I've just made a mistake, which I know, I can't really re make that up, kind of. But I could arrows that, but it's not very worth it, you know? So I might as well just keep it going this way. So it's going to get a little bit of damage, it's going to get a little bit of damage from the tower, but it's going to be fine. So after this, we're going to put a mini pecker in the back and start to build up a push. So we, they also gave us a knight, so we're going to go, um, no, a prince, should I say. We're going to place the prince down and charge towards them and get an arrows down to take out the things in his side of the base. So now that they're taken out, we're going to get some, we're going to get quite a walloping on the tower, we're going to possibly take it out. But he's managed to distract my mini pecker in time, um, so that we only got, like, two, um, we got less than 2,000 damage off. But it's still a lot of damage, because it left him at 785, including the damage from the log. So now he's played a bowler, so if I play anything which is ground, it's probably going to get absolutely hammered by this, because, you know, bowler's OP, it takes out everything like Royal Giant. So, um, we're going to see what happens here. So, now that I've done this, I think I'm going to play a knight in the back, just to stop the, the damage from going into the tower. Because we want as little damage as possible going into the tower, as you could probably guess if you play this yourself. So we're going to play, I'm going to slap on the mini pecker, then we've got four troops going into his side, now that's three left. So the baby dragon should deal with these skeletons, which are extremely annoying because it takes out everything in my, um, in my kit. But, it's fine, the baby dragon dealt with it. So we're going to give his tower a wallop and well his king tower, so we're going to hopefully get down to 1000, maybe, eight, oh, no, yeah, there we go, 500, so we can then um, just fireball this down, arrows, log, see what happens, you know, it didn't really matter at this point. So all we need to do is get another spell to deal damage to it, and he's just lost the game. So it's a pretty good start already, you know? So we're going to fireball this, like I said. So let's go with 4 mana, well 4 elixir, been playing too much hearthstone. And there we go, won the game, that's the first battle won. So here we go guys, so don't, um, let me know what you think of this new game mode, I think it's pretty cool myself. But it's only going to be lasting for a couple of days, I think. Yeah, there you go, 2 days, 16 hours left, so it's probably going to be 3 days. So let's go for another game, straight into it, let's see what happens. So I think I'm going to go for the Goblin Barrel this time, since I'm pretty good with the Goblin Barrel. Then I'm going to go for the Log, because again, Log OP. And we're going to go for the Valkyrie, I think, because then I can deal with um, Hordes. And I think we're also going to go with the Inferno Tower, I think. Because we've already got Reach damage, as we can just throw a Goblin Barrel over to his side. So we don't need the Princess to reach over for us, and if we have an Inferno Dragon, we can do burn down anything that comes our way. So it looks like he... If I'm guessing it's a he, he has given us a lumberjack, so I'm going to start with a giant in the back, just to build up an elixir push, and also not top over. So I've got a cannon it looks like, so if he plays a hog rider I can counter the hog rider with my cannon. So let's see what he has in plan for me. So I'm going to go with some golden barrels over there, I'm going to play a cannon down there, play some minions, hopefully the minions will take aggro onto the balloon, deal with the balloon, because the balloons do a tremendous amount of damage. There we go, it looks like we're going to get it dealt with, there, see. Right, so that's pretty good, because he zapped my minions, but he didn't manage to zap my tower, so the tower was still aggroed onto his minions, I mean, onto his balloon. So that's pretty good. So now I think we're going to lock that, even though I should have locked the princess, really, but I can just drop off a Valkyrie at their side, and that'll walk its way over. So if I also play a Goblin Barrel now. So since he's kind of countered himself, but he didn't know it was coming. So he played um, the Hog Rider, but now my Valkyrie's countered the Hog Rider. But in future, I should probably hold on to the cannon just to deal with the Hog Rider, now that I know he definitely has one. So I'm going to start off a another right push with the giant. So we're going to see how this goes, because right now it could go either way. We've pretty much got even on each tower. Now I know what you're thinking, uh, but that's not an even amount. 
and I'm going to slap down this cannon. I know I said I was going to save it for the Hog Rider, but I need to... Oh, no, it's not even taking aggro. But it's going to get a bit of damage off here. And they've also buffed the damage on the death damage for um, the... The Blaine. And we're also going to... Well, so we're going to slap down an Inferno Dragon behind this um, giant, and it's going to deal a lot of damage if we manage to do anything. So I'm going to... I'm going to save the log in case he plays Princess again. There you go. See? No, I've saved it this time. So unlike last time when we didn't save it, we now have it to take out the princess in one fell swoop. So we're going to play the goblin barrel and hopefully the witch gets out of range and this time... Oh, he's timed it pretty well. He's managed to gonna... he's gonna take my tower out but I might as well deal with this so he doesn't do any extra damage to my king tower. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to play the lumberjack and hopefully it has nothing to counter it with. It's going to run straight to his tower, maybe one or two hits and I'll take it out. There you go, two hits. Now I'm going to play the inferno dragon next to this. Just to take out the knight, I think. I'm going to play a giant. I think this is a really bad play right now. But I managed to take out a knight, which is three elixir. Then I also took out something else, I'm pretty sure. So we're going to go with the goblin barrel on the left. And also Valkyrie at mid. Just enough so that it'll go over to it. No, never mind. He's, she has aggroed onto his... Um, yeah, assume it's a he. Um, onto his... Other... Not onto his witch. There we go. Too much rambling, I know. Uh, let's go, let's log, let's play cannon so it hopefully draws the aggro over. We're going to play Valkyrie. He's probably going to get a tower at this point because he's got a princess on there. Um, I'm going to barrel over there so it doesn't take it out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're going to lose my might have lost this. Just lost it in the last second. Now that's due to me just rambling on because, you know, you can't really do that, can you? Because it's going to get distracted in every single way possible. So we we'll hope for this next game to be a lot better. So that's one win, one loss. So we're going for it. So I'm going to do it now. I'm going to choose the giant again. Now I would have chose Pekka because that was my old best card, but I'd rather not this time because it's too top heavy. Now I reckon he's just going to smash me with this Pekka now that I gave it him. But we're going to go for the lumber. Now we're going to go for the knight because it gets the charge damage, which could potentially take out a pretty big unit. So let's go for it. Let's see what he gets. So he has given us a princess, a golem. Um, I can't remember if we chose Valkyrie ourselves. So I'm going to slap a golem in the back. Now, I'm not very good with golem decks, but it's a level 4 golem, so it does it does a lot of damage. So since it's a level 1 legendary, it'll probably be on par with a level, a level 3 golem. So I'm going to have to put down Princess to deal a bit of damage to this. Now, I'm going to have to go full out. Um, Fireball is Inferno Dragon, even though it's going to take out my golem. Hopefully the golem will die before it... No, it's not going to do any damage to it. There we go, yeah, I knew he's going to absolutely wallop me with this, um, with the fact that I gave him a Pekka. So I'm going to have to play this um, giant skeleton, hopefully take out quite a few things with it. Now, the princess is still alive. I don't know how she's managed this, but I've, I've just played a golem. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm honestly making the worst plays this game ever. I just played a golem to counter a mini um, a hog rider. What am I doing? So I'm going to have to play this um, Valkyrie to deal damage to the Pekka. I know it's just taken my tower out, but it could have got further towards the tower and dead extra damage. It's pretty much lost this game. He's got too much aerial attacks. So we're just going to let him win, I think, unless we can somehow pull it around. We're going to slap a Prince down at the bridge. There's no point mucking on at this point. Yeah, we've got nothing to counter him. It's really heavy. We've got 8, 6, 5, 5. 8, 6, 5, 5, 4, 2, and 3. That's pretty heavy. We've got no way. I I prefer to use decks where I can just cycle through everything. Like right now, I've been using a three point four Alexa deck on my iPad. But you know, right. So we're gonna get. We just pretty much lost this game. So we're gonna let it let's roll out. Let's see what happens. So we're gonna slap a Valkyrie down as Hog Rider. We're gonna just hopefully get it down. We don't really get. We do want to give him the free crown in case we can pull this back. Now. Like I said, he's got too much aerial, he's got a lot of ways to take out my big troops, and now he's also taken out my princess, which is my only form of aerial attacking, which is consistent apart from spells. So we're going to have to slap down the road, um, the giant skeleton, and oh, it's, got, it's pretty much over. He's got every single way to defeat me, but I haven't got to defeat him. So GG. There's no point me continuing playing. Well, this match. So I'll see you for the next one, guys.